あのこれカステラ置いとくんでしばらくしたら下げてくださいあありがとうございますうんあははは<笑>ゲスにはなってん
ホタルが刀を打たない場合別のものを君の刀鍛冶にする。Oh no! Okay! <laughs> He's always mad and all the best. We like you. Oh, you're all wearing masks. It's a Mandalorian village, in fact. I'm not gonna talk about the size of her boobs and the fact that it may be a little too much. What? How can you say that to someone? But he lives right there? Because of a guy. <laughs> you thought that it was Tinder? <laughs> Theories about it, and you know, it was a lot based on the fact that Rengoku dad reacted that much when he saw Tanjiro earrings, and we know that he was a former Ashira. So, for me, I even yes, that's it. I made that theory at some point that maybe people who were fighting with 
Muzan, you know, like maybe Muzan, okay, he has demons, he has the 12 to fight with him, but also maybe he has humans fighting for him. And I thought that maybe people fighting for Muzan had these earrings and that's why right there he thought that Tanjiro was an enemy. After that, I remember that I changed my mind a little about that theory and I thought that maybe these people, you know, with these earrings were fighting against the demons and that Muzan was one of them. Yes, it's because of the flashback that we had with Muzan looking at someone who had these earrings, you know, on the floor. And I was like, maybe at some point Muzan was a part of these guys with these earrings fighting against demons. And maybe at some point he switched, you know, he became a demon. And some people with these earrings followed him and some others didn't. Like Tanjiro's dad. Uh, I know that's complicated theories, but you know, I was just trying to create things around these earrings, around the information that we had about these earrings. Right there, that dream, it was just the beginning of a flashback and we need to discover more about that dream, about that flashback. <sighs> Tanjiro he had a flashback at some point about that guy. I thought that it was his father during that moment. Maybe it was not his father and it was truly that demon, upper one. That demon, upper one, that's the one that we saw right there with Muzan, the one with six eyes. That demon at some point met Tanjiro's dad. You know, I was truly disturbed during that moment, during that flashback because the demon looked like Tanjiro dad and Tanjiro dad looked like Tanjiro. So at some point I was like, what? It's another universe, you know, another dimension, another uh, uh, another situation in which uh, Tanjiro he met the demon? Like, no. No, I think that it was the demon, upper one, who met Tanjiro's dad. Tanjiro's dad was so sweet and he said, uh, he said nice stuff to the demon who was surprised so maybe he gave him his earrings but it doesn't explain <laughs> the mark right there that Tanjiro he has also and that baby right there it was Tanjiro but it was <laughs> I want to come back to that. It's Tanjiro as a baby. It's Tanjiro's dad. It's that demon upper one. It's that demon that you saw before into a flashback situation. That's why you remembered it right there. It's that demon that we saw also in another flashback with Muzan. It's that demon who gave his earrings to Tanjiro's dad. Because of these earrings, Rengoku's dad thought that it was someone related to that demon. Okay, 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 okay. But still, we need the explanation of how you got your earrings. We need the explanation of how you got your mark, because right there, Tanjiro dad didn't have it. And also, Tanjiro didn't have it, you know, as a baby. So we need the explanation for that. And right there at the end, the mist Ashira is with that demon? He's walking with the demon? <laughs> like that, <laughs> more like that. He's walking with the demon? How oh, it can be? It's a spy demon? It's a demon Ashira? No, but he's right there into that village, that demon. And he's talking with the mist Ashida? I don't understand. Or maybe you don't know that he's a demon? I mean, right there, uh, the mist Ashida is walking with that guy, not knowing that he's a demon. Uh, no. And he had things on him, you know, that guy, like, he was a soldier. Do you understand what I mean? Like an armor and stuff like that. And the mist. 
Ashila right there wanted the keys of a place that kid you know that person was saying no you can't have it like something of my family and all and you know he, he, the mist Ashida he was uh, pushing it during that moment I thought that it was not nice you know to push someone like that to give you something if that person doesn't want to like you're no one to, to push it so hard and you know the fact that it's happening outside of the village like it's something hidden uh, like you, you don't want for anyone to know it bad vibes bad vibes during that moment and the fact that we know now that this Ashida, the Mr. Ashida is doing that with someone who might be a demon does he know it or not the Mr. Ashida? I don't know but uh, you know uh, really bad vibes what is happening right there? bad vibes okay I think that about that demon is a pearl one it was a pearl one during that flashback with Muzan. It was a pearl one during that flashback that Tanjiro had before. It was a pearl one that Tanjiro's dad met. It was a pearl one who gave these earrings to Tanjiro's dad and who did something with to Tanjiro's dad and Tanjiro. It was a pearl one that Rengoku's dad was afraid of. Okay, the information that we learned during all of the scene with Muzan, you really want all of your upper demons to find information about that family, about the, the blue lily, something like that. He already talked about that Muzan during the scene that we saw with him when he was a kid. You know, when his appearance, it was a kid. And what the master said about, you know, gaining the honor of his family back. I thought at some point that the guy was related to Muzan. I still think so. And maybe right there it's that family that he's searching. I can't remember the master. Do we know his name? Because right there we have the name of the family that Muzan is searching. Can it be something like Muzan, his family, like he has descendants and he wants to eliminate all of his descendants so that's why he's searching for that family? And no matter what, the master, we know that is hiding, like, right there, the, the village, it's well secured, you know, it's safe and all. And the master, it's even more secured, you know, it's even safer. So maybe it's because of the fact that Muzan is searching for him, not only because he's the master, but because he's a part of that family that Muzan is searching so much and maybe because they're related, like there is something right there. Or maybe they're not related at all, but just there is a story of revenge against that family. I don't know. These demons, they were cool. Some more than the other ones, but they were really cool. All of this place is so cool. Each time it looks so great. It's amazing, it's impressive, it's beautiful. The music, the drawing. Each time when we are into the Infinity Castle, it's it's beautiful. But if it's so so safe, you know that place, the village, that demon, you know, apparently, he found that village thanks to the Mist Ashida. Again, does he know it or not that he is with a demon? That's another question. Right there, you can find a weapon which is gonna make you stronger. How she was saying that, you know, the, the love Ashida, how she was saying that, it made me think that it's not a sword, you know, like it's not a weapon, a solid thing, and it's more something that you can have. <laughs> At first, I was thinking like an idea, you know, like love is gonna make you stronger or something like that. Nope, I don't think that anymore. But maybe still, it's not something like a sword, a real weapon, but it can be a, a potion, like not a potion, but in this universe, we know that we have some plants which can help you into some situations. So maybe it can be something like that. Maybe it can be another plant, maybe it can be the blue lily, or maybe it can be something else. Okay. Tenjiro is gonna leave 
that mission, you know, that adventure, that journey right down into this village all alone. Like we have Inosuke and Zenitsu who are... who want on other missions and we're not gonna have them during all of this journey. Oh, I miss them. As a team, you know, when they're all together, I really hope that at some point they're gonna... they're gonna come. Oh, we have Nezuko, that's already great. And we're gonna have two Ashida to help him, you know, right there. Oh, and the fact that the, the swordsmith, you know, like, the guy is missing, it feels weird. And it feels even weirder that they're not uh, afraid of it, like, the guy is missing since so long and no one cares about it, like, whoa. He went on a little mission, he's gonna come back like, really? And he didn't give any news and all? Okay, I think that maybe something happened to him or... I'm not I'm not really optimist with that information, uh, with that situation. This Ashida, the girl, she's nice, like, she's only nice with Tanjiro, with all of them, it's great. The fact that they're insisting so much on her body and on her boobs, I'm not a fan of it. Clearly, uh, I don't think that it's necessary and so far with other characters, with other female characters into Demon Slayer, they were not making stuff like that, you know, about all of the ones that we met, about Shinobu, about Nezuko, like all of the female characters that we met so far we didn't care so much about their bodies. Maybe a little, you know, Uzui's wives, but except for them, it was not important, you know, when in some animes it's only about that, like Chainsaw Man. <laughs> but right there, it was not the case in Two Demon Slayer, so... I understand she's good looking, all of that, but she's not only that, you know, she's also an Ashida. The fact that she became an Ashida just to meet a guy. <laughs> oh, you're so desperate. I mean, you have some ambitions. Oi, oi, girl. <laughs> I'm interested to see how she's fighting and all. We know that they all have, you know, certain abilities. So I'm waiting to see else. I want to see that. Like the Mist guy also, the Mist Ashira, I want to see that. It was a big episode for sure because it was a long one, but also because a lot of information into it. In particular, all of these things, you know, around Upper Wound, the Demon, and connecting the dots, you know, with all of what we had before about him, in fact. When me, I thought that it was not about him, and I thought that it was about Tenjiro's dad, but in fact, no, it was about Upper Wound. But come on, at the end, Tanjiro's dad looked a lot like that, but he was really sick. Was it sick like the master is sick? The fact that right there, we have something about it, you know, like there is a story behind the mark for sure that they have, but also the earrings, the fact that it's coming from a demon and all. It's cool because we have only clues, you know, some information, so we can make theories and you know how much I love that. But it's cool also because it's going with what I said during the intro about the fact that for me, this anime is gonna get darker, deeper, bigger also, because it's gonna get more difficult for our guys, because Muzan is gonna get angrier and he's gonna organize himself differently, you know, with his demands. Like, things are really gonna get, yes, more difficult. So it's going a little with that because of the fact that we understand that things are not so easy about explaining why Tanjiro is like that, why he's connected to the Demon Slayers, in fact, since a long time, through his dad who met a demon. You understand what I mean? In fact, right there, with that flashback, with this information, we are beginning to understand that Tanjiro is connected to all of that, in fact, since a longer time. And maybe when Tanjiro's family was attacked, it was because of that. Maybe Nezuko 
she's a demon right now because of that and you know I think that at some point we're gonna understand that things are connected in fact since a long time and we didn't know it and that's cool because that's what I wanted for this anime that the direction you know that I wanted to take with this anime so it's really cool it was great it was so great it was beautiful all of the scene with Muzan all of the dream was so interesting all of the recovery time was really fun you know we had a lot of funny moments with our guys getting back together with all of them intervening and all so that was cool and right there at the end you know Tanjiro discovering that village all of these little things about it it was really to to create a lot of little stories a lot of little things that Tanjiro is gonna do is gonna discover during this season, during the time that he's gonna spawn into that village the fact that the, the sword guy is missing, the fact that we have the love Ashida the fact that we have also the mist Ashida who is with upper one apparently, so what is happening right there they want something, they want these keys, what is it, you know, the weapon, the mystery weapon all of that, you know, it's creating a lot of stories, a lot of things that we're gonna have during this season Cool, really cool. Oh, that was great. I really hope that this video, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna have issues, you know, for putting them on YouTube, because I think that I'm gonna make two videos. You know, it was a long episode, so I really hope that I'm not gonna have big issues with that, with the videos, and also with my channel because of that. On Patreon, you're gonna have the full reaction part for this episode and maybe for some others, you know, during this season. So if you want to subscribe to my Patreon to have this extended reaction part, this full reaction part right on time and to be sure to have them and uh, all of the good conditions, you know, it's on my Patreon. Okay, it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Ah. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy. <laughs>